Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So today I have a confession to make. So I have been a neglectful garden mom for the past couple of weeks. Ever since the tomatoes went into their peak production, I just kind of been indoors mainly, focusing on canning, harvesting, you know, all that good stuff. And that has caused me to kind of neglect the rest of the outside garden duties. <laughs> I actually did not even film a garden tour for the month of August. It just completely slipped my mind. So now I'm here, middle of September, and you know, everything is just kind of out of control. So I'm in the berry patch and today I am harvesting lovely cucumelons. And I actually harvested these probably about a week or two ago. And these have just kept awesome in the fridge. Like, I'm telling you, like, they're still, you know, maintained their shape very well. They haven't become, like, mushy or gross or anything. So, they're kind of like, um, you know, if you don't have, like, a lot of cherry tomatoes or tomatoes in general and you want to, like, freeze them until you have enough to make a sauce well you can definitely do these without you know freezing or anything yes yeah, so basically the goal for right now is to harvest as many more cucumelons as I can to make some lovely popcorn pickles I did a test run I think about two months ago and they let them cure and oh my gosh they are just literally amazing like I cannot wait to make more so that's why I'm here today and you can see all the cucumelons that have grown just from these four plants like it is just ridiculous it's just a whole wall and then up but this is honestly the best system for growing cucumelons because once they grow on the netting they just kind of pop and hang down and are ready for you to pick so let's get started Just before I start harvesting again, just going to give you a shot of all the cucumons that have been growing. So yeah, look, here they are in the netting and they're just hanging down like little champs. And they're, they're just everywhere. And some cucumons have even fallen to the ground, so I can just pick them up that way and for the most part they keep but these are a little small I'll probably just leave them oh yeah here's another good one right here yep so just add them to the collection also getting some more strawberries now so that's nice I'll we'll have to pick those later Woo! there was a spider or something on that one Yes, look at that big juicy cucumelon. This is the size I want them to be at. So not all of them are there. So I'll just let them plump up over the next few days and harvest what I can. There's actually like a really big, beautiful spider web over here, and I'm gonna do my best not to disturb it because they eat all the mosquitoes and nasty bugs. I see this spider at the scent of, of it, and this looks like no other spider that I've ever seen before. The spider looks like a crab and a star, so I'm gonna pull you in close so you can see that.
Like, I don't know what that is. It's hard for my camera to focus on, but look at that spider. Like, that is just an interesting, interesting shape. I hope it's not like a deadly poison, this one. So let's back away from that. Noticing a lot of kind of yellowiness on some of the leaves. So I think I'm gonna give this some extra liquid fertilizer because overall it seems like it's still wanting to produce. Like we have tons of little baby flowers <clears throat> and stuff growing, but yeah, it just might be lacking nitrogen because there's so much stuff growing in these beds, you know, it just might lose like an extra boost. So I will definitely fertilize it this afternoon because I would keep these cucumelons going as long as I can. They're, they are just fantastic. Um, yeah, there's so many spider webs in there and <laughs> it's making harvesting them kind of a dread because I want the spiders, but it's actually like a really big creepy bug there too. Gosh, there's just, there's literally so many things going on in this place that I have never seen them before. But yeah, so. I feel like at some point I'm going to have to evict some of the spiders. If I don't want to evict them with my hair. Ugh. Oh yeah, by the way, speaking of my hair, I gave myself the infamous quarantine haircut about two days ago and... Now it's just super bouncy and full of life again, but yeah, look, it's getting caught in everything, as per usual. <sighs> yeah, there's not a lot of cucumelons over here, just because I kind of harvested from the spot before. The main are over there, and then in the back, and yeah, a lot of spiders to get through. harvest for today there's a lot of spider webs I kind of don't want to deal with and there's still tons more that aren't really at their full peakness of ripeness so yeah I'll just harvest probably another like three or four days but I'm definitely gonna make some pickles out of these guys later on this evening because yeah I just don't want to wait anymore I want to get these cured so I can eat them in about three weeks so Alright, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching and always subscribe to stay up to date and never miss another video. Take care. Bye. Cuca, cuca, drop the cuca. Literally amazing.